Hello, this is Diego and um, today I would like to talk about the way I did my script on Voyager. Um, I'm going to assume that you already have set up your sequence in here um, and you saved it with any name you want and also that you have your weather condition set up in your sensor um, Voyager checks all the time the status of the sensor to check if it is safe and you can establish three conditions depending on the result of that um, reading um, OK on resume, uh, suspend and exit those events you will use on on the script in order to trigger a response from the system in case of a uh, not safe scenario. Um, this is the way I have set up my way of thinking. I first of all I enable the events which are these ones okay for suspend, resume and emergency exit. This is what's gonna do in case of suspend, this is what's gonna go in case of resume and this is what's gonna do in case of emergency exit. After enabling the events, I start up the system. Uh, in my case, what I do, I start up um, the system by checking when is the astronomical darkness going to happen. So 30 minutes before that, I start the script. Um, then I uh, connect to the Dragonfly and trigger the relays to turn on my equipment, power on. Then I connect to my equipment. If all of this is successful, um, of course if it is safe to do so, I open the shutter and after I open the shutter, if everything is fine, I do a, s a I, 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 I use a block that is called um, mount did for mount control and um, what it does it unpacks the mount it um, slews the mount to a specific point and performs a blind plate solve and sync if all of that is fine it calls the sequence and starts taking the photos and once it finishes I terminate my session uh, and I this is where I put all the all the steps to terminate my session if at any time between this and that, um, the Cloud Watcher says um, that clouds came and it um, it will trigger a suspend event. In that suspend event, my system will just close the roof and uh, stop tracking and stand by. In my case, it will do it all. It will wait till 4 a.m. If it gets to 4 a.m., it will just uh, run the terminate um, session. If before 4 a.m. it happens that it goes to OK, everything is safe, it will run the resume sequence, uh, the resume steps. Okay, so this is how it's happening. In this line, I enabled my events, which are these events that I declared there. These events in there are these ones I have at the very end. As you can see, these are the this is my events, and this is the block for suspend. And in this case, uh, it will suspend and wait until 4 a.m. It closes the shutter, stops tracking. All right. If it goes into OK resume, everything's safe. It will open the shutter and resume from this block. This is the block where I connect to Dragonfly, activate my release to check everything is on. And in the case of emergency exit, uh, which is a terminate everything, it will just close the shutter. And um, if there is any error closing the shutter, it will click physically the relays that close the shutter. What is the difference? This order of close the shutter, it's uh, related to the ASCOM driver, and this one is the relay it triggers on the Dragonfly. So let's say that for any reason that ASCOM driver failed, 
it will try to trigger the relay that is in charge of closing the shutter. So I have two ways of doing so. At any time something happens, I have flags that will send me emails. For example, if it terminates the session, it will send me an email saying the observation has finished. Okay. If I'm closing the if I have a problem closing the roof, it happens that it will send me an email saying error closing the roof. Um, and I like it because it gives me inform of what happened during the night. And I can see that it closed because of clouds and then waited for an hour. And after that, it just uh, opened again when it was safe again and kept working. That's it. So back to the script. Uh, after I enabled the events, uh, the script waits for 30 minutes before astronomical darkness. For that, I load my coordinates and I set up an offset of 30 minutes in there. It will send me an email when that happens saying that a uh, Canon Paint Observatory, which is my observatory, will start the sequence. Um, then it will go to the Dragonfly uh, block. In the Dragonfly, it connects to the Dragonfly, which is this ID card. Uh, if there is any error, it will send me an email and it will terminate everything. Of course, if you can't turn on anything, there is no case of continuing. Um, after it does that, it um, turns on the relays that I want. In my case, it's uh, the observatory, the cooler of the camera, the fan of the telescope, and the focuser. When I trigger the observatory, at the same time I'm powering on the mount, in my case. Then it goes to a block that connects to all the equipment. Uh, it will just run this command in here. It will just click connect in there and connect to all my gear. If there is any problems, it will try three times. And if after three times there is a problem, it, ter it terminates the session. Um, but if everything is fine, it will just go to this block, which is called open the shutter when weather is okay. Um, in this block, it will just order to open the shutter. This open the shutter order goes to the ASCOM driver and it's waiting for a reply from the ASCOM driver saying um, roof is open. If everything is okay, it sends an email saying the automatic observation has opened the shutter, opened the roof, and then it will go to a block called start mount procedures. In this block, I ask the system to unpark the mount, go to this altitude azimuth position, and then it will make a it will perform a blind solve with sync. When that happens, if everything goes fine, it will just go to sequence. This sequence is something I created and then I saved it with a name and I'm calling it from here. Well, that sequence might be hours of imaging um, with the filters, the target I want, the amount of subs that I want, with all the settings of guiding, focusing, whatever you want to make it. Once it finishes, it will return an OK signal or a flag to the script and it says that if everything is OK, go to this block. OK. And the block is terminate session. So let's say we all the sequence went fine. It goes to terminate session, sends me an email. And then the first thing it does, it closes the shutter. In my case, my roof can close. It doesn't matter where my telescope position is. Um, I have created conditions for errors or timeout if something goes wrong. Um, after closing the shutter, uh, it goes to these conditions called good night. It selects a filter on my filter wheel, warms up the camera and parks my telescope, my, my mount. It waits five minutes, everything should be all good, ready to go. And I disconnect from my setup and powers up my devices in here. Sends me an email saying all systems shut down, roof has been closed, sleeping now, all good. And uh, that's it. This is the end of my script, if everything goes well. If at any time during 
whatever point sequence for the script clouds come it will just go into suspend and it will wait in that status until 4 a.m and for that it will close the shutter and stop tracking and just wait and uh, if it becomes safe to open again it will resume it will open the shutter go to this block which is called dragonfly uh, connect to dragonfly and activate relays it means it will jump all the way here and it will repeat everything you see there um, the good thing about Voyager is if something has already been performed it won't connect twice to the same thing or it will try if it is on it's on already and that's it it will just go through this okay check everything is fine check everything everything is connected check that the tries to open the shutter again even when it's it's been done already um, everything is okay it will go to the mount procedures it will go to this position blind solve sync the telescope and then just go to sequence and keep going that's it um, in another um, script that I have it also finishes and also um, takes the flats okay I'm just showing something simpler which is it, this was my first and and my first script and this is the one that I use at the moment um, after I did I wrote this I added and edited other conditions uh, in my case I have um, let me open it yes um, I have a generic sequence with two targets with flats generic sequence multiple targets with flats generic sequence single targets with flats I did different variations and I use it depending on what I want at any time I load the script that I want I declare on the sequence the on the script the sequence that I want to run and I just let it go that's it that's all I do if everything's fine it should go to the end of the night uh, running his events if it needs to or just taking the photos and closing everything and next morning I should have my subs in place so just to um, check um, I enabled my events I have a way of starting up my my drag script uh, my script in this case it's using astronomical darkness I trigger I connect and trigger my dragonfly connect to all my equipment open the shutter control my mount perform a blind solve I start my sequence I terminate um, my observation with um, the conditions where I power off everything I warm up my camera and in case I need them, the suspend conditions are declared on the script. There are some conditions and, and um, steps. And this is it. Um, that's what I do, and it's been really nice. Um, I think it should be good to talk about how to make a script, but I really think that a lot of people can figure out how to move the blocks to one side um, for example if I do uh, confirm yes so um, <coughs> my script will go in here my events will go in there and inside of the script you will have actions <coughs> and these actions can be for example connect the setup this is an order that will go to the system but instead of doing things like that okay I organize or you can organize everything with um, blocks and uh, these blocks are really easy to create because then you add them in there double click on it and create a name for the block that's how I organize my my drag script, my script. Um, that's how I have everything organized in blocks. Um, I have these dividers just to understand where I am. And these are the conditions inside of a block. In this case, something simple. If I ask the system to open the shutter, they can only be 
three options as results. Everything is okay. There was an error or timeout. In case of everything is okay, goes to the next block. If there is an error, send me an email, terminate everything. If timeout, send me an email, terminate everything. You can configure this the way you want. In my case, it's been really nice with me. Um, your script doesn't have to be the same as mine. Um, everyone has different ways of thinking, different ways of operating. In my case, I thought about, okay, what I, w what I normally do if, if everything is not automatic, and this is exactly what happens. I go there, I check my Dagron file, start my equipment, trigger in my relays, connect to my equipment, open the shutter, move the mount and start my sequence. This is what I do. And now Voyager does it for me. Um, I'm really hoping this is a bit useful. Um, if someone needs me to um, explain something a bit more, um, please drop me a comment and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much.